Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how it's possible to use the earphones that come with your iPhone as a headset. Uh, as you know, the earphones that come with iPhones, they've got a little microphone built into the cord. Um, I thought to myself the other day, I wonder if it would be possible to use them as a headset on my iMac for recording my voice on the video guides uh, but I can imagine that it would work on other services such as Skype or Messenger or you know the like. Uh, basically I was debating on whether to buy an actual dedicated headset but I thought no I thought I'll just try using the earphones that came with my iPhone first and I'll see if it works well a little bit of googling and a little bit of trial and error um, I've basically been able to discover that I can actually use the earphones that come with my iPhone and uh, I'll point out that I'm using the earphones that come with my iPhone to record this video guide. Um, one thing I did notice when I was playing back some of the test recordings was just how good the sound quality was. Uh, I was really rather surprised. Um, your voice sounded really clear uh, and you know a fair bit louder than what I was used to hearing using the built-in microphone that's on the top of the iMac. So I'll describe how you do it on Mountain Lion but other earlier versions of Mac OS should be very similar. Basically we're going to System Preferences then into Sound which is this one here. Now what we need to alter or what should automatically alter when we plug our iPhone earphones into the headphone port on your iMac or your MacBook. Um, when we click on the input tab which is this one here you can see in the devices listed below that the input type for sound on my iMac is the external microphone which is basically the microphone that's built into the cord on the iPhone earphones and as you can see there it's saying microphone port but it's actually plugged into the headphone port of the iMac but obviously with it having a microphone built into the cable it allows this feature to uh, run through this port as well. Um, as you can see as I'm talking you'll see this little blue line here moving back and forwards as it's picking my voice up. Um, one thing I did have to do a little bit of trial and error with was the input volume section here. I tried having it 60% off uh, towards maximum but I found that overall um, having the input volume right over onto 100% as it is now um, gave louder and slightly better clarity of the voice recording uh, and also I found that you could talk at quite a comfortable level without feeling the need to have the microphone right in front of your mouth. Uh, so I've set this on 100%. Um, the other option which is optional if you want to use it or not, is the use ambient noise reduction. I think what this does, it reduces, say, background noise. So if you were in a slightly noisy room uh, or an environment, it would dull this background noise out, but allow your voice to be heard clearer over the top of it. The output volume, that's just the overall output volume, what your system's system volume set on, which you can just leave that as it is. Um, the other tabs that are up here as well is output tab. So if we click on that, you can actually see that with me having the earphones plugged into the iMac, that the sound that would be playing out of the iMac is, would actually be coming out through the earphones that I've got connected as you can see on there 
Now, if I didn't have the earphones plugged in, that would obviously show internal speakers because the iMac basically got speakers built into it. So just to show it a bit clearer, uh, here's a couple of screenshots that I took before I started doing the video. So this one was of the input section before I plugged the earphones in. And as you can see, prior to plugging the earphones in, it was shown that it would the iMac was using the internal microphone, which is built into the top of the case. So as you can see there, built in internal microphone. And uh, just a secondary thing I've noticed as well is the internal microphone was set to use the input volume on 100% which is basically what I've got my external microphone set on now. So you can probably just leave that on 100% on and just forget about it. Now, this is a screenshot I took after I connected the earphones up. And as you can see, that changed from internal microphone. I'll just put them up side by side and then you can see for comparison. So this one here, this one's after, and you can see external microphone, microphone port, input level is on 100%. This one is before the earphones were plugged in, and as you can see, it was set on internal microphone, and it was built in, and the input volume was on 100%. If you've found this video useful or you've got any comments on the video um, such as what you think of the sound quality on this recording compared to the others, just leave a comment on the video guide section for this particular video. Um, I hope you found this video useful. Um, thanks for watching. Goodbye.